sometimes you wonder what what to wear or like what kind of bag to carry or anything like that you know when you're going over family's house for the holidays or everything or even if you're just going into work but uh what about have like the thanksgiving theme in mind stay tuned hello this is <laughs> jt like, this is the week of thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving and uh and i just was really uh i uh, got this last year i think from peace love world this sweater and i said well how can i style this up so um so i styled it up basically with this uh sweater the sweater says thankful and I actually styled it up with uh, with a Candace Cameron beret hat. Um, my, my husband calls it a blogger hat, but I think it looks good, and so I do. So, but I think it's a cute little hat. It's a felt hat, and uh, these are Isaac Isaac Mizrahi green corduroy corduroy ankle pants. And uh, and I just said, well, let me just put this together, and. It's like I received so many compliments on this outfit and it was like either like it's very like the Thanksgiving theme with like the oranges and the greens and very autumnal but still looking pretty hip. I paired it with my Coach and Ford ankle boots and I got these from DSW. They actually are all are online as well. And they are just they zip on the side. They have like a little gold kick, a lot of gold uh uh in the back of the back of the heel which i think is really cool and they're just really uh really cool they got a buckle buckle on the side and just really a nice a nice a nice nice boot really nice boot and i was looking for a boot that i that looked really rugged but then looked feminine at the same time so i so when i went to work today i said ah, i had not done a review on the Venuto bag that I recently received. If you remember, I had actually purchased this bag in like the rustic, in the rustic colors, like the map, the map bag. And I, and that, that video is here. And I talked about how great the bag was. The bag was so wonderful. It is still good. I actually um, put like a conditioner on it. The bag is still good. So uh, QVC.com had a great, they had a great deal on it. I think the bag was like 149 at the time. And uh, and I decided to get to get the bag, and uh, let me just show it to you. So it's kind of like in a in like a golden color, kind of like got that Thanksgiving theme going on, color going on here. And um, the one difference in in the bag that I the rustic bag that I have is like there's the logo, the Patricia Nash logo here. There's the same uh, like studded detail on the side. I really like this uh, locking mechanism. It has two straps, but I really like the locking mechanism. How you just put your put put the locks in lock in there, and then you just twist it like that. And that's just a really really nice. And it can it holds a lot. Actually, on the inside of the bag, the bag holds a lot, and it also. Uh, and it also, you know, like it has two pockets. Let me see here. Two pockets here. Two pockets here. You can put your, put put your pens or your, your medicine or whatever you want to put in there. Your eyeglasses or whatever. And on the other side, there is a zipper. So there's a zipper. And usually, in the with the zipper compartment, let me turn it around here. In the zipper compartment, I usually keep like my AirPods. I'll keep my pens and that kind of stuff in that section. And then as you can see, I have my MacBook, files, all that kind of stuff in here. Uh, calendar, notebook, all that kind of stuff. And so it hold, it holds a lot. And it's a great bag. And when I got it, I was like, oh, this is a wonderful bag. And then I think I put it in, in the Wrangler, Jeep Wrangler. And, and it's kind of in the seat. The seating is kind of snug up there so i kind of put it in there because i said all oh, this bags this bags workhorse and then i realized where is it at here you really can't can't even let me see where is it oh here it actually kind of scraped it a little bit so that shows me right there that the that this coloring doesn't go all the way through all the way through the bag so 
it's a little too late for me to, I'm not going to take the bag, send the bag back. I'm still going to carry it and use it and do whatever I want to <laughs> and use it and continue to use it. But I will probably get like some, uh, like maybe some, uh, like shoe polish or something like, or a coloring or something to kind of blend that in some. And, uh, and I thought that the bag was, I thought that it went, that like the leather went straight through, you know, like it, like the coloring went straight through, but I just realized on here that the coloring doesn't, it actually, it actually scraped it a little bit. So I'll have to. I'll have to buff that somehow because the color what I decided to get I got kind of like it's kind of almost like a patent in a way but I thought that it was uh that that the coloring I went all the way through but then when I realized that when I um you know kind of like when you when I have my the Florentine like my Hattie or or uh my Dooney and Burke leather bag I can just do like that rub it and it'll blend in I can't rub that and blend that in there because that's more like a metallic, like not a metallic, that's more like a patina kind of, kind of, <laughs> kind of, uh, uh, way to it. So I'm going to have to probably get some kind of, I'm going to match the color somehow with it, but I'm not going to send it back or anything like that. But that's just kind of, I mean, partly I think, you know, I was a little too, my probably too rough with it, but I didn't realize that the coloring didn't go all the way through. Um, I think like, if I, I still think this is a great bag, uh, I think that if you buy it, I, just I realize now that if you're going with more of like the patina finish, just be a little bit gentler with it, with it than, than me. And I think that that's what happened. I just when I was in 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 the wrangler, the wrangler was the seating was the seat was a little bit tight, and I think I had had it in between there. And then when I pulled it up, it might have scraped it a little bit. And I just thought that the, that the coloring was going all the way through, but. Anyway, anyway, it's, it's, a, it's a nice bag, and I'm gonna keep it. And you wanna say you wanna say hello, Luca? Luca, this is Luca, Luca the Collie. You wanna say something, Luca? <laughs> and it also has what's what I don't have on didn't <laughs> what I didn't have on mine. I didn't have like this little keychain here. If you wanted to put like uh, your lanyard or like your keys or something like that on it, you can. Um, that's something different. But other than that, that's, I would give this, so I would give this bag, I would rate it a four out of five, just because I, I just realized that the that the coloring of the of the dye, the le that the leather didn't go all the way through, but I'm not sending the bag back. But I just wanted to do a review on it because it's still, I mean, even, out, even it's outside of that, I mean, it's a workhorse bag. I can put so much stuff in it and it holds up very, I mean, like I still would use my rustic map bag. I still have that one, <laughs> but it's still, it's still a good bag, isn't it, Luca? Yeah, it's still a good bag. So <laughs> until next time, this is JT Wisdom and, and uh, here sharing tips and on how to live an elegant and graceful life. And remember to be elegant, be bold, and be you, and remember that God is for you.